Hello friends, Coco Mojo here, back with another weekly vault opening video. Today we are opening the vault on the Druid and the Rogue. Um, on the Druid, actually, I'm going to be opening it in Feral Loot Spec. And the main reason for that is that I already have a crafted caster weapon. And I have a path towards getting a 418 caster weapon. But for my Feral weapon, I have this, which I, there's no way I'm going to put 7,000 Valor to put into this weapon to get it maxed out. I'm just, I really don't want to do that. So... Kind of hoping for a feral weapon, honestly, but I would take you know any any other slot would be would be fine as well. Um, boots would be great because I have bad boots, but um, yeah. And I actually have I have some decent caster trinkets for healing. They're kind of low item level, so I wouldn't mind getting a higher item level one. But I can always farm these trinkets in M plus later on. Um, but yeah, let's see what we end up getting. Okay, so some nice legs. They're a little low item level, though. Um, we get the same gloves that we had before, but these don't have avoidance. There's no way we take that. And then a puzzle box, which is actually a really good feral trinket. Oh, and this has speed, too. That's actually pretty sick. Um, and I've actually been using puzzle box on the druid, or on, on feral, rather, and it's been it's been really quite good. Um, I think I'm going to take this. As much as I wish I could take this, I think it's just too low item level to justify taking. So, yeah, I'm going to take the, the trinket, and then we'll use this on, on Feral. And I got a 19 key, and the affixes are Fortified Sanguine Volcanic Thundering. So we will talk about... Ooh, and a 19 Shadow Moon. That's a good key. Nice. So we'll probably end up getting into a twenty on on my druid this week, which is which is pretty exciting. Um, and I'll talk about the affixes in a little bit. So on the rogue, we were kind of maxed out. I mean, we can basically just get some small item level upgrades here and there. Um, wouldn't mind a trinket. I would love a better main hand, a four twenty one weapon. Like this as a four twenty one would be amazing. Um, that's probably the best thing that I could possibly get, but we will see. Um, pretty much everything else is going to be a minor item level upgrade, so I'm going to have to be simming what an additional socket will give me as well. I think that's going to be, honestly, the most likely thing that happens is I take a socket. Holy, never mind. We get our Biss stat dagger. That's sick. Um, take a quick look. Useless. Useless. We take the dagger. I don't even have to send this. This is the easiest choice ever. Um, I mean, I'm kind of curious, actually, to see what tokens would be, but I think I gotta take this dagger. There's, like, no world where having this in my main hand is not the best choice. But that's really cool. Very pumped about that one. Um, yeah, me, I'm gonna just get this set up. Let's go. And then in terms of the affixes, I didn't even see what key I got. 22 Halls of Valor. That's a good key. Um, so affixes for the week. This is, I think, going to be kind of a crappy week. Um, Fortified Sanguine is tough. Any mistakes are very punishing to the timer. Well then. I think that you know, if you can play around Sanguine, then you're in really good shape and you don't really have to worry about it. But any any mistakes with Sanguine are are going to be devastating. So we gotta make sure that you know anytime there's one high HP mob, especially a high HP mob that is you know a, a 71 elite that can't be displaced, um, especially if they have any mechanics that cause them to stand still for any any period of time then uh, you know, making sure that we're doing priority damage on that mob so that it dies first, or at least evenly with the other mobs, is the way to go. So sub is, is good at this, of course, you can funnel. Um, the big downside, of course, is that if you're funneling, then you're not doing AoE damage. Um, so having some some way to do priority damage in your in your comp is going to be really helpful. Whether that's an enhanced shaman who can funnel, you know, funneling as sub is is definitely pretty good. Um, it might honestly be an outlaw week, 
right? Like if you play Outlaw, then uh, being able to do consistent priority target damage along with good AoE is really, really valuable on Sanguine Week. Um, the, the thing I think I dislike most about Sanguine Week is that it makes it very scary to do your job of like stopping dangerous casts. So I think the way that I would play this this week is I would be prioritizing using my stuns early in a pull and then use things like blind and gouge for the, uh, you know, later on in the pull when the mobs are likely to be stuck in Sanguine. So um, you know, the thing you really don't want to be doing is pressing kidney shot and having like a full, you know, six second kidney on a mob that's going to be just standing in, in a Sanguine puddle. So just make sure you're not doing that and you'll be all set. Um, Volcanic is like a non affix. We can literally ignore that. It might as well not exist for us. But uh, Sanguine is the main thing that we're going to be playing around this week. All right. We got a pretty uh, pretty sweet vault. I'm, I'm feeling pumped. Let me get my Mog right. Yeah, let's go. We're looking pretty cool. We're feeling pretty good. And we got a pretty good week of N plus ahead of us. I hope you guys get some sweet loot in your vaults. Let me know what you end up getting, and I will catch you in the next one.